homeowners should take when they first discover bed bugs in their home. You know, when they get bit, or sometimes they get they think they're getting bit, or they think they have bed bugs. You know, and you do some inspection, and if you find a specimen, how what kind of steps you could take or yourself before you call a pest professional? Uh, this is from uh, our website, uh, njbestexterminator.com, up here. And if you fill out your information for the referee report, it takes you to this page on the seven steps to take. So I'll start here with um, uh, step number one. And you can see uh, the life cycle, the bed bug. These, these aren't, of course, exact uh, sizes, but it gives you the idea there are uh, six, well, seven stages from the egg. As you can see the eggs, if they're in clusters, you, you'll be able to identify those. Uh, individually, you really won't be able to determine uh, if their eggs are not. But they can be deposited anywhere in your home, all the cracks and crevices. But in the general you know, you could, you could find the eggs around by the nymphs, which are considered juveniles. But we call them nymphs, and then they, they, they're gradual, they have gradual metamorphosis, meaning they, they maintain the same characteristics and the same look, but they're just different sizes as they shed. As they feed, uh, they'll, they'll shed their cast skin, and then there'll be another, there'll be another uh, size until they feed again. So if you, have, uh, if you see different stages of bed bugs in your home, different sizes, that means you, you, know, you have a pretty, uh, pretty uh, established infestation where if you just like adults brought them over some ride from like a book bag, a gym bag, you know, you brought them from someone else's house. So usually the uh, adult bed bugs are the one that has to ride most. So what you need to do here, uh, make sure you have bed bugs. Like I said, uh, you know, look for a specimen. Of course, you'll look for the uh, evidence of it. So what you want to do is, uh, you know, take the mattress off the bed and flip it, flip it over like I have here in this video, this video right here, showing the, uh, showing the. Uh, mattress uh, standing right side up and that and uh, you can you can you know you can look around well this this one's on YouTube if you look it up show you this this video in full screen how the uh, we put put the uh, mattress on the side of the wall and then put the uh, brought the box spring up and uh, you're looking around the perimeter of the uh, box spring, looking for the actual evidence of uh, bed bugs. So what you want to do, you want to look at under the uh, under the box spring and see if you can find any uh, you know, bed bug congregation. You take the dust cover off the back and uh, look look at the fabric around the perimeter and and the and the and the wood pallet, you know, the wood framing. That that you know you want to get a, like a positive identification. So uh, what you could do, you can get like 3M tape, like masking tape, or uh, duct tape is my favorite. Just get a piece of tape, and if you see any specimens, uh, put the tape right on the on the bed bug, and uh, and uh, you know save that for your for your pest mass management professional, or bring it into here in New Jersey, uh, here in Middlesex County, New Jersey. You can bring it to the Rutgers University. Uh, entomology extension and get them identified there. Uh, step number two, uh, if you're renting, if you're renting, if you're like an apartment or you're renting the home, uh, contact your landlord because uh, the New Jersey bed bug bill states uh, as of 2010 uh, that the landlord is responsible for uh, treatment, remediation of bed bug harborages in a multifamily home, meaning your home has to be three or more units that they have to be managing if it's a multifamily home. If it's just like a duplex or single family home, their landlord is not responsible by law to uh, treat it. You are responsible. So you need to call a pest management professional, a uh, licensed pest management professional. Uh, step number three out of seven, uh, use a vacuum cleaner. 
use a vacuum cleaner. That's the easiest easiest way to uh, keep them from spreading immediately. And now use a use a drive use a dry vac or vacuum cleaner from your vacuum backless vacuum and this vacuum vacuum with the crack and crack and crevice tool. You know, uh, my like I said, my favorite is the duct tape. Just gets roll strip of duct tape and put the duct tape on the uh, fabric wherever you see the live bed bugs. That's my favorite. But uh, you know, you can use a vacuum as well, yeah, and uh, just 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 run it across, and that should pick up the eggs and you know get all your spots and cracks and crevices. That that will you know that'll be the first thing you would want to do really. Uh, so, you know, because they'll start running around. So, uh, don't don't start spraying anything yet. You know, vacuum whatever you can. That's that's available. That's accessible. And then uh, and then decide what you want to do with these infested items, uh, box springs and mattresses and and furniture. Uh, if they're damaged or if you got them from a, a second hand, you know, from a garage sale or they're donated or you got it out of. If you if you want to throw them away, you could if you feel like they're damaged. Because uh, they, uh, uh, damaged items, damaged uh, furniture is, is difficult to uh, treat and manage for bed bugs because they can deposit their eggs inside damaged furniture cracks and, and ripped uh, mattresses and, bo uh, and box springs. But then you have to uh, mark them properly so anybody going by knows that they are infested. Uh, my favorite is to wrap wrap the mattress and. Uh, and mills three mills plastic wrap it and duct tape and then mark it with the orange spray paint because the scavengers will usually take these uh, mattresses. Uh, what you need to really do on your own is to uh, start clearing up your room, clearing up uh, the clutter, and throwing stuff away that's garbage and consider garbage. You really need to, you know, if you're going to do something yourself uh, or prepare for a pest management professional, you have to take this next step and start really organizing your room and uh, get ready for treatment, really. So you need to t get rid of all this extra stuff that's under the bed and on the floor. And, uh, and uh, you know, start discarding things that are completely infested. If you find anything that's completely infested with bed bugs, like cardboard boxes or... You know, if, if you if you discover things, if it's a major infestation, uh, stuff like calendars on the wall, uh, posters, uh, damaged you know damaged uh, blinds, uh, the papers and, and stuff stuff about the nightstand, like a lot of clutter. You need to start uh, throwing them away or, or or start organizing stuff that that's in your dressers and drawers, all the loose stuff, because you're going to need to be treating your dressers, uh, your drawers and. Uh, so you need to, you need to really start organizing and start bagging up things and throwing other things away and uh, just get rid of the extra stuff you know they call they call I call it stuff I don't know what it is but there's a lot of hiding places for the bed bugs so you need to make the room like I said simplify the bedroom to make the treatment easier and to inspect and the stuff that that you're going to throw away you just put in the heavy garbage bag so you don't spread the bed bugs around when you're when you're, you know, bagging things up and you're tying them up, you don't want them to get ripped. And uh, so that way you can, you know, you take everything out at once. And don't reuse the bags. Don't you don't you reuse the bags. You know, because if you, you know, if you put stuff back that have bed bugs in it, and then there'd be bed bugs in the garbage bags, you can reinfest your room easily or easier. What you also, what you need to do, step number six, is start uh, washing you know, bagging uh, the clothes, you know, get ready for the laundry. Uh, you, you can use a, a, a professional laundromat that can do bigger loads. Uh, the number one thing you need to be washing, washing are your linens, anything, everything that's on the bed, you need to wash. Uh, throw pillows on this other hand, you could bag those up uh, for treatment or heat treatment. You can heat those or, or in the heat, heat, heat devices or uh, or use a hair dryer, or you could. Uh, my favorite is a treat, a, a treat with a registered uh, pesticide for indoor use and label for bed bugs. That's my favorite. Cracking crevices, but uh, you know, I don't think you could really wash and uh, dry throw pillows, but the pillow cases, you really definitely need to wash and dry these things in hot water and dry and dry on a medium heat. And uh, and then and then what you want to do, you want to you don't. 
you don't have to do all your laundry at once, but to, you could you could keep keep the uh, laundry that you're not doing yet. You can keep them in the sealed uh, contractor bags until you're ready to uh, launder them. And then after you finish laundering them, then you put uh, then you put the put all the clothes in and new bags. Don't reuse the old bags that you add them in, so you won't be uh, you know reintroducing the bed bugs back into the room after your treatment. Uh, you know, step number seven, the, uh, you know, after you bagged up everything, get ready for the laundry, you know, you're probably not ready to go to the laundromat right away, I mean, you're, you're making, you're, 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 uh, you're doing everything pretty much right away, immediately, so you don't really have time to really plan it all out, so the next staging area, after you bag up everything, uh, not leave it in the rooms, if you're lucky to have a garage or basement, you know, just just put the bags in there, and so that way the next, so you can get back to your room and start cleaning and a spot treating or whatever you need to do. Uh, you know, call a pest management professional for an inspection. It'll be a lot less, less clutter in your room, and uh, and uh, and that way, you know, if you need to do things in stages, if you don't have time to launder everything, that's a, it's a big process. Um, Hey, they're, they're saying you could take some stuff outdoors, but I don't, I don't believe these temperatures can kill outdoor, uh, bed bugs outdoors. I've seen this over the years. People put their furniture outside, and I had never really seen that. And, uh, you know, you could put you could put some things in a car during the summertime, but we're getting into the fall right now. You know, your vehicle can definitely get 120, 140 degrees over over the afternoon if ever the windows rolled up and you put all your items in there. But I wouldn't guarantee that. I would never. I don't really make a recommendation. They say you can encase your mattresses in box springs, but uh, it depends on you know what kind of treatment you're having. The way we do treatments, you don't have to encase your box spring and mattresses. They can be treated, and the residual will last months for several months. And uh, the bed bugs, if they go to the mattress and box spring, that you know they'll be in contact with the with the with the pesticide product that that has been applied, and they'll die, you know, right away. And they're pretty expensive. They're like between sixty and ninety dollars just for one, just for one encasement. So you can imagine if you had a four-room house, you know how much that costs. That's why people see value in uh, hiring us, uh, Eliminex in Old Bridge, New Jersey, because uh, we could treat successfully treat a like a four four-bedroom home, treat all the mattresses and box springs, and put everything away. And and, and the, the bed bugs, you know, will die off over time if there are any in the walls and they come back to the bed if you had encasements on them then there will be no treat treatment on the casings on the new encasements you just put on they could just hang out right on top of the on top of the covers and and and, and still live and breed not because they're not sitting on the uh, pesticide product that's been applied uh well there's seven steps we're already to step number nine uh they said, what about the bagged items? Like I said, you could get them treated. Uh, you can get them, uh, you know, take things to the laundry. If we're talking about bagged items, like stuff you don't laundry, like electronics and stuff like that. They said, uh, you know, you could heat treat or freeze it, but uh, you could just uh, keep them in a sealed plastic bag. I say, they say four to six months, but I think you could put everything back. My opinion is you could put everything back after a treatment because if there happened to be, say, for instance, a bed bugs uh, in your clock radio, because it's next to the nightstand, uh, depends on how the infestation is. Say it came out, if it came out of this, these items, it would look to hide in the cracks and crevices under the baseboards, trim work, uh, and back into your furniture, your box spring, back into your dressers, and it's going to look for a place to hide. And guess what? The uh, where they go hide, there's going to be uh, a contact residual from the from the pesticide treatment that's going to still be working, and it's going to kill the bed bugs if they. If they, you know, wander off and they're going to try to get established again in your room, and they're not going to because everything's been treated. So that's what makes us successful. Now, what 